We got a 105 by 100, 10,000 square foot metal building that we're building. But this is a bolt-up building. That's where the, the main pitch is equal. And then over here, we're gonna have three overhead doors that we're gonna be installing. Right here is gonna be like a mechanic shop. The holes are already uh, built into it. This concrete was done extremely, extremely well. There's two reasons why they delay projects. Welcome back, Pack. This is Advil from Wolf Steel Buildings, and we're out here in Texarkana. And we're right at the border of Texas and Arkansas, but we're still in Texas. And uh, if you know, we only serve Texas, and we stick to that for now. But check this out. We got a 105 by 100, 10,000 square foot metal building that we're building here in Texarkana. And you're seeing the drone footage it's a really nice metal building now one of the things that i want to talk about this this project is this what kind of project this is so if you've been watching our channel we do uh tubular buildings which are basically bolt up buildings and uh weld up buildings red iron weld up buildings but this is a red iron bolt up building so i really just want to walk around and show you guys about this project Explain a little bit more on bolt ups and you know what we're doing here. I want to explain a little bit what this building is being used for. So our client is uh, Tri National. They are a pretty large logistics company, and right here is going to be like a mechanic shop where they can work on their 18 wheelers. So if you're seeing some of the drone footage, they got a lot here. And on that side, it's going to be a little bit more of their uh, like small little office. You can see some plumbing out there so that's what we're doing for our client here and stay tuned because we're gonna have david david if you met david on some of our other videos he's gonna be doing a walkthrough explaining a little bit more what's all gonna happen here with our client since he has a little bit more details about this whole project but what i'm gonna talk about today is about what we're doing here. So this is a 70 wide, and then we got a lean to on the other side, which is kind of like connecting, which is 30 wide. And and if you can see up to the 70 wide, that's where the, the main pitch is equal. And then from there, it just extends as a continuous lean to, and that's totally, totally doable. And actually saves costs, so we don't have to build a big bigger i-beam or more more heavier material so that's why we got those supports because it's kind of the break the break line and then over here we're going to have three overhead doors that we're going to be installing later on so we do have three overhead doors here just in the in, in the front and i believe in the back as well but this is a bolt up building so we actually have four days already building this project so it's only been four days it started raining and actually hasn't rained about for two days but i'm going to explain why we haven't done more work and there's a reason for it but what we got here this is a bolt-up building and that's the beauty of the bolt-ups it's like it goes out quick the wait time for materials is a little bit longer and the reason is is because this is a bolt-up everything is already pre-engineered and prefabricated. the holes are already uh, built into it if you're seeing some of our purlins, C channels, you can see on the drone footage, I'll, I'll show you guys, but there's a lot of holes and it just allows for flexibility to install and put bolts and nuts to put this whole kit together. It's basically bolts, 
and uh, nuts and uh, tight and it's just all bolted up together that's why it's called bolt up now when it comes down to anchorage system the bolts have to be embedded before you pour the concrete and that's similar to the red iron weld ups we embed the plates inside the uh, the concrete before we pour it and that's exactly what happened here we got that all coordinated and had all all the bolts already embedded so right here just for the door frame you can see that we already had those uh, bolts embedded you know when when you buy a building like a bolt building with us as well we we have that floor plan we get exactly where we're putting those bolts and it's got to be right to the point because that's how you can make sure that the frame can insert into the hole that is there already pre-drilled same thing here if you can see here in the weld up buildings we have to weld these clips on site fabricated on site here it's already there they're already uh, basically welded onto them we just with bolts attaching them one thing to keep in mind that is pretty normal but a lot of our clients always ask us during the process of a uh, metal building is that you can see some of the sagging that happens with the purlins it's actually normal and uh, because the purlins are really helping more right now towards the lateral pressure but these can, can tend to sag but before installing the panels we usually put some sort of support like a wooden stick or some 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 type of uh, we use posts or, or some just wood sticks two by fours or something that gets uh, you know lined up and straightened out before we you know put the sheet metal the sheet metal is actually part of this whole, making this whole structure to meet whatever the, the codes required. The sheet metal is part of the frame, like the, it's basically, it's all part of it. Like it's, it's what make, puts the whole building together. The metal is part of the structural support. So you can see here, we got some, uh, these are what we call uh, just cables tied in with like turnbuckle. And this is again for, for wind support. So you're going to see them in a lot of bolt-up buildings, especially, you know, on the sidewalls as well as on the roof. This concrete was done extremely, extremely well. We already got a, a lot of concrete notches, notches, control joints, I'm sorry. We've had a lot of clients for like smaller jobs, like, like just like a nice workshop or a nice, you know, like man cave. Some clients don't like the control joints and then some clients do. If it's like a warehouse like this, it's not really aesthetics. Definitely do the con control joints. Helps minimize the, the expansion of, of, the, of the cracks in the concrete. But I know um, if you're gonna, you know, uh, seal it, put epoxy or do whatever, a lot of times clients don't like the control joints and they let us know that they don't want it. So let us know, we recommend it. It's recommended to, to help control the expansion of cracks because there's two things we'll guarantee a good concrete and also cracks in your concrete it's just it's just hard it's just hard to uh, minimize any cracks so just keep that in mind whoever you do concrete with it's just part of it one thing that i want to mention is we're in january here in texas january february march april and some mays well mostly mays the rainy seasons okay so when it's raining there's two reasons why they delay projects. One is obviously it's rain. Not a lot of people, we don't like to work in the rain that much. And two is that rain can get messy and not necessarily the water, but how dirty it can get. And it becomes even more complicated to clean up afterwards. And for example, that's why we stopped this project. This project, we ha it hasn't rained in about a day or two, but it's still wet. And a lot of times during the construction process, there's a lot of, especially around the concrete. Well, here up in Dallas Fort Worth, we use a lot of uh, select fill type of dirt, which is like clayish material. That gets really sticky, really messy. And we can also get stuck in it with our heavy equipment and heavy machinery. We can basically dig a bunch of trenches and make a mess out of your, out of your property. And so, that's another reason why we delay the project instead because it's just it's more complicated later to try to fix things and try to clean up 
having all your the sheet metal all dirty and then not only the sheet metal but the frame material so like if you can see over here on those corners some of the frame already got some dirt and this is actually pretty clean for a construction project like this is pretty clean but if we would continue to do work a lot of this material would just be sturdy and uh, just to be cleaning afterwards just takes a lot more time and it's better to control how we do the work to make sure that we deliver nice and clean although it might delay your project so uh, just keep that in mind when it comes down to this rainy season if you're if you're waiting if you're one of our clients and you're waiting those are some of the reasons but if you're also waiting on a project from you know you bought somewhere else those are the reasons why and I, I speak for most contractors and builders. So, all right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little walkthrough of this bolt-up building that we're building, which I am just impressed with the work we're doing. I mean, you know, you're probably thinking, I do, we do a lot of projects. Last year, we did about 150 projects. So metal buildings is every day, but I actually still get excited, especially what is being gonna be done afterwards, how our clients gonna be using it. That's what excites me about it. So stay tuned, because we're gonna be doing the final walkthrough of this project fully complete. And if you're looking for a metal building from, you know, like from a bolt up, a weld up, or a tubular metal building, that's what we specialize ourselves in, metal buildings. So reach out to us, we're happy to help, and I'll see you guys in the next one. By the way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe okay that's how you motivate us to continue to do videos so hit that subscribe and share it with your friends